So hi guys, I am happy that uh, you have been following on my tutorial for the past two videos and now let us continue with our third video okay? and a third tutorial. So what you see here is us, uh, is the following screen okay? and what we have done so far. Okay? I am highlighting uh, the first five important lines as well as pygame.init and pygame.display.update. Okay? And the next few things, what, uh, this is just a recap, what we have done is that we have understood that the screen is a surface and upon that is what uh, we are filling uh, with color, uh, like 255, 255, 255, the white color. And upon that, we can add a word text and we can blit or draw word text and then we have to continuously update it. Mm? This is what we have seen so far. Mm? And now we are going to learn some three important things. Number one, how to uh, how to in draw an image, mm? how to draw an image, and how to uh, move it accordingly. Mm? And so, first of all, uh, let's uh, draw an image. Before that, instead of uh, while true, I will store the value of true in R and then we'll just run this this will be our first change and in this uh, we would not be rendering or labeling because it's not needed while creating our game this was just for a basic intuitive idea okay. now so let's uh, to draw an image what we have to first do is we have to call the image so we have to similarly as how we have done for the text we'll have to uh, call it so we'll have to uh, do pygame dot but instead pygame dot uh, image dot load um, and you can hold within the string the name of the file so in this case let's tell um, so we have to hold the value of uh, a car uh, sorry uh, so our game is going to be modified about a moving car hmm? and how it is going to dodge some uh, moving uh, cars in the opposite direction and that is our game hmm? so i suggest to you all that you should download a png of a race car or of any object so i've downloaded it from the plat icon website hmm? and you should uh, shape it therefore and for example, yes, uh, uh, this from the flat icon website, I have uh, downloaded uh, various images and that you should store it in your root file or where uh, your q.py is stored. And in that file, I have stored various um, uh, files as you see in as you see, I've stored various PNG. So JPG and PNG can be updated into a Python program, but PNG is having less KB and thus it is more easier to move such images. And so this image of uh, a race car, which I've downloaded from a moving uh, from flat icon, I'm going to update into my uh, final uh, uh, project, that is the q.py. Hmm. Notice that the directory or the file location of q.py and the image that you are going to update is in the worst place. So racing.png and then we have to call that. So my pygame.image.load and whatever the string is the name of the image and it is held in the function image or the oh, sorry the object image. Hmm. Now we have to draw this in the while loop then only can we see it continuously or otherwise we'll just see it for a while hmm? and we'll have to draw it continuously so similarly screen dot blit and we will give the image that's the first parameter uh, what image or what uh, label or what text we're calling and then next is the location so let's give some different location so 100 comma 1000 Oh yeah, sorry, we have deleted the label, 
And yes, that's what we see here. We see the car, this race car, just blitted or draw, drawn here. Now, before in the last video, we saw that this image is continuously being drawn. In the moment you are seeing, uh, maybe ten, uh, thousands of times, this image is continuously being shown at the place. That is why we can, because of our eyes perception, we can see it. Otherwise, if we do not put this in the wide loop, it will just be shown for a millisecond that we can't even uh, decipher. So next, now uh, how to move the image. So how to move it according to what our wish is. So, so to move this image, uh, we will receive the value of x and y. As before in the last video, so that the x and y values are uh, increasing from the top left corner. And as you go down your page, uh, somewhere around here, you will keep on, uh, when you go down your page, the x uh, y value will steadily increase. And you go towards your right, the x value will increase. Now, uh, let's receive this input. Mm? Uh, so, the value of x and y. To do that, we'll have to put a for loop. Mm? for e in pi game so because this is a mobile phone uh, this uh, pi droid works uh, differently or the functions we have to modify it according accordingly so for uh, i'll just tell you just uh, catch on with what i'm typing here for e dot pi game dot event and dot get It's a for loop, so for many time it keeps on getting the value, uh, whatever events are happening. That is what this pi game dot event dot uh, get gets. So it gets numerous events. Mm? So let's store it in the variable event. Mm? And normal for loop, we'll check if we'll check if event is equal to equal to equal to. Uh, even dot type hmm? the type of the event so we are going to do a form of type casting and we are going to check if it is uh, equal to some uh, key down so what is key down hmm? key down is like when you press something in python uh, or when you press something uh, when you press your keyboard hmm? even in the normal computer and you press your keyboard um, if it, if it is even dot type is equal to the pi game that means even dot type uh, will be equal to uh, pi game dot key down so let's put r is equal to false yep and so what we have seen is that uh, we can blit images mm, on top of uh, the surface mm, or draw the image mm, and um, uh, in this uh, Yep, and here when we see here that uh, we can run this, but x is not defined. Hmm? So we'll have to define x and y. So x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, y and x hold the coordinates of the image in the parameter of blit. Hmm? So in the parameter of the bit, a blit function. When running, yes. Hmm? Now we can see the top left corner, the image has been uh, put because it's 0 comma 0. Now if we want to start the game on the bottom, what should we do? We should give this as uh, somewhere down the center. So the width of a normal mobile phone has like around 1000 uh, pixels and the total height will have around, the x coordinate will have around, uh, sorry the y coordinate will have around, um, around 2000 pixels. So in my mobile phone, so I will um, accordingly change. So like 400. Come on. So around 400 and um, let's go to around 2000. Mm. Yep, now you see it's now somewhere in the center and you can like uh, make this go to 500. Understand? Now what is this function key down? So you guys see here this is key down as that uh, before I had to repetitively uh, give to a uh, backspace to exit this pygame uh, page but now because I have just uh, 
use the pygame.keydown, if even your single pygame.keydown, what happens is r becomes false and while r and the top function while you see while r, while r becomes while false and the whole program just stops because that's the end of the program. So uh, you have got a fair idea that to end the program we'll just have to change the value of r. So that's why I mentioned it in the start of this video. Now, what other, uh, if you want to move the so-called image, so normally in an, uh, in a, in an Android, there is, a, uh, sorry, in Android, there is no keyboard. So on the basis, um, so in, in a computer, there is a mouse. Uh, so that is what is going to be the touch screen. So the parameters of the mouse, so if mouse has some, attributes so we can't use any functions related any uh, functions related to key down key up or anything like that we can only use things that are related to mouse that is the main difference between uh, pyroid that is in android phone and that of in um, in in a computer so we'll give elif e dot time e dot time so this is why it makes a uh, making android mini games in pi game in pyroid little difficult for people so you can give mouse button down so as you see in a, if you click a mouse button down in a computer and if you install this program this program that I, which i'm typing um you'll have to pull down a mouse button but in this case wherever we click if we click on the screen we can give like a hard equal to false to see if it's working mm. so if we click on the screen the mouse button down will be equal to e dot type and r will become false the program will crash that's it mm. so it worked and so now we need to get the location and the point where we are uh, hit uh, pressing mm. to get that we'll get it in an function called get x comma so in an object or a variable called get y is equal to pi game dot mouse dot get underscore pause so underscore pause and we'll just give yep and so what this you'll just have to remember this whole um uh, this whole f uh, attribute or so this whole function of of under the class of pygame mm, or under the library of pygame mm. so we write this mm, we will get two values x and y value of where we are clicking or a normal computer of where we are clicking on the location of the pygame whole uh, page where we are clicking but in this case where we are touching we will get the location mm? so we will move it accordingly so so we want to move it mm? so because since x comma y stores the value of where the image is going to get stored we will store x and y accordingly so x x is equal to if you have figured it out, well, it's good. Uh, X and Y is equal to. So Pygame is just like a basic uh, programming with its own library. So it just have to include several things. So when you press alone, will X value differ? Hmm? Otherwise, mouse button down won't be true and this uh, X value won't differ. So just let's see. So I haven't pressed it initially in the same position. Now I press somewhere else. Yes, we see that uh, the object is moving. Object is moving according to where we press. So I can press anywhere. So this comes the problem. So we have to limit the moment of where we are pressing. See, if you press here, it goes inside. So we have to limit the moment of where we are pressing and the, we have to create boundaries. So this we will see in the next video of limiting and creating boundaries as well as moving it in the right direction. So um, since I told you that the location or the location of the total image is on the top left corner, we will have to change the value of x by little. So x minus is equal to the 50 
and y minus is equal to 50. So what you see is more where I click more accurately the image of the car will come. So we want the cent where you point the center of the image to come. You'll have to modify accordingly to the pixels of how your so yep yep so it comes so where I click the center of the car will come. So these are some few intuitive ideas that you have to understand and visualize. So in the next video we'll create boundaries and create and similar enemies. Thank you.